everybody! Welcome back to the Adventures in Silvernell, the Thunderdome. This is the semifinals. I'm your Dungeon Master, Scott Nicholson, and I'm here with the three remaining Bad Arsh champions here. First and foremost, we've got Cody Stone playing Charon. Reintroduce yourself. Say hello. Hello. I am Cody Stone. I'm playing Charon. Right? My, uh, my hill dwarf wildfire druid, right? Got to burn it down to build it up. That's how we're doing it these days. Just like that. <laughs> Fantastic. And also, we have Jonathan Dix as Ornick. What's up, Johnny? Hello. How's it going? It's good, man. Good to see you. And then the no face himself. Let me scroll down to it. It's uh, it's Christian Reagan as Akashi and his buddy Ekalesh. Hello, hello. Akashi goes, <laughs> <laughs> That's a crowd favorite. Um, all right, let's uh, reset the scene. Welcome to the Thunderdome, a large coliseum at the top of the Titan Peaks. Uh, Going to be choosing the first warrior that's name will ring throughout Silvernell. The winner will get 100 real dollars and 10,000 gold pieces in the world of Silvernell, and their name will echo throughout our campaign. So if you watch on Wednesday nights or our Monster Hunter series on Sunday nights now, uh, you'll probably hear this name come up. But... Let's get back into it. Our warriors walk out onto the dirt field. The crowd is going wild. Ah, you hear him chanting, Karan, Karan, Ornick, Ornick, Akashi, Akashi. People are going crazy. It has been a crazy event. Uh, the uh, Thunderdome wizards begin to float out of their seats into the air um, and start floating up in the air. The people go wild. Let's bring everybody to the map here. Beautiful. You walk out onto the field, and you see the wizards start to uh, move their hands around, and this energy comes downward in this huge spark of lightning onto the main field, and the dirt starts to shake and turns into this beautiful, lush land. You smell... Uh, the pollen in the air, but you're not sneezing. There's this gentle stream in the middle, and for the first time, they have changed the field to a beautiful place of peace. And with that, roll initiative. Just like that. All right, Ornix already rolled, got a nine. Let's see what our Charon is going to get in our... Ooh. It's a 20. Ooh, a 20. That's the best I've ever rolled on, I think, anything in this <laughs> game. <laughs> um, if you guys didn't catch, last uh, quarterfinals was really cool. Charon did a giant fire wall, wall of fire around. Obviously, it's my favorite. I brought it up a thousand times at this point. Just super <laughs> dope. And Akashi, what is your initiative, my friend? Um, 17. Uh, oh, 17 I had to roll, plus. Roll for, I rolled twice for Akashi and Nikolesh. All right, so you rolled an 11. What is your initiative bonus at the top middle? Uh, three for Akashi. So 11 plus three would be 14. And then let's put Ekalesh on the field. I am a fool. There he is, right beside you. Actually, yeah, that's good. And he rolled a 20 plus. What's his initiative? He rolled a 17 plus five. 17 plus five. That is a 22. So he will be going first. You are linked together. It requires no action. That is the broken class. All right. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, let's begin. Okay. So I am going to... Uh... Honestly, I'm just going to uh, ready. I'm okay. not going to really do anything. Just gonna. Are you gonna ready something, or are you just gonna? No, just 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 ready and wait. Just not do anything. Just staying still. All right, Charon watches across the field in a bush. <laughs> hey, back in the bush. That's where I belong. Um, quick question, because I see the different, uh, like the stone bits here. Is there elevation, or is this, is any of it difficult terrain as I plan my? my jaunt the here. only thing that uh, is yeah there's no difficult terrain all those rock formations are going to be a couple of feet off the ground cool okay 
So the river is the only thing that. that yes, river be. is not. The river is a gentle stream. Nice. Aw. It's very peaceful. I, yeah, that sounds lovely. All right, let's let's look at some things here. So, do, 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 do. I'm going first off. We got to take off running, right? Because that's what Kairon does. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Uh, twin. Hold on. Let me get measuring stick out here. Ah, <laughs> yeah, uh, okay. So good. Glad I did my measuring stick. There we. Uh, five, ten. So instead, here and here. We're getting far away from you. All right. Yeah, little bastard. Oh, oh. <laughs> gotta go further. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> uh, we just put me back here in this corner. All right. <laughs> No. Tensions are rising in the Thunderdome. Is that all? I can't, I can't even see that. No, 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 no. All oh, right. I, I, so I guess I, I cannot physically get 60 feet away from him. Like further than oh, 60? Oh, I can. Uh, no, I can. If you go more south. Yeah, no, I'd have to, I, I just have to go here. <laughs> yep. Yes, yeah, there it is. Feet. There you go. There we go. All right. So with that one out of the way, we're going to cast uh, Call Lightning 120 feet up in the air. Oh, 60 man. foot radius cylinder. Uh, drawing the radius. shapes. Yeah. All right, you got the shape? I'm trying. Yeah, I'm trying to, to cool. draw shape. How do I get like a circle? Um, you do the that. square and then you just press Alt while you do it, while you drag oh. it. It makes a circle instead. Okay, so 60 foot radius, so 5, uh, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, oh shit, <laughs> can't, uh, I'm pretty sure it's this whole thing. It pretty much is if it's a, if it's a 60 it's a foot radius. radius. Yeah, it is specifically a radius, so. Um, just about to right there. Right, that so made I'm, no sense. Like right there is the edge. If you see that. Yeah, I'm trying. So I'm trying to put it on the. Um, damn it. I'm trying to put it on um, in the center so I can cover as much of this. Sure, I can try to help you out. Please, yeah. Um, it's gonna be like. Oh yeah, I see what you mean. Like it's. All right, so it's it's basically gonna be like that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I want to center if... it in the center of the map. So if ah. I can cover, yeah. All right. Let me get rid of our stuff so we can. I mean, you did it right. Just so. It's the one thing about this website is that. One, you can't adjust a circle once, like you can't yeah. adjust something once you like, have it up, right? Like I like just that... deleted your character, so I didn't even mean yeah. to. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I'll put you back. <laughs> Holy cow. All right. Uh, so you know what? I'll switch our live audience back to us so they can see our confused faces. Sorry. <laughs> as, we're, as we're struggling <laughs> we're to, so to draw struggling. basic <laughs> geometric shapes, right? Um, can I? Well, let me see. Can I? If I if I have the select on, I can't. I can't grab that stupid ass circle. Give I, me the circle. I know. I want I, it. I don't know why it won't let me. Oh, there we go. Boom. Ah. <laughs> All right, we'll just know that if you get within, like, 10 more feet or 50 more feet, you'll be in it. But basically, it's the entire field except for the edges. Yes. Okay, yeah. So, because I, if I put it dead center right here, yes. uh, oh, give me give me this. If I put it dead center, then it covers north to south. It covers the whole, right. the whole place because that's just, uh, I think, 15 feet on both sides, I believe. Use that tool one more time. So that's yeah, fifteen feet east okay. to west. It looks like yeah. Gotcha. So uh, <laughs> since I have north to south covered and I cast my uh, call lightning, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna call my lightning uh, down on uh, and his uh, serpent friend. All right. So he has to make a dexterity saving throw, please. Nice. All righty. So I'll start with obviously Akashi. Mm -hmm. So, one moment. And that's a d20, correct? Mm hmm And you do have to roll it on roll 20. Yeah. So, that plus uh, 3. 
Nine, ten, eleven. Uh, DC of sixteen. Okay, so that hits. And then let me roll for Achilles. Plus five. Twenty. Uh, so that'll save. That'll be half damage. Um, and what spell slot are you using this in, Charon? So I'm using it with my third level because I got this fancy third level book thing. Just gonna glow and it's gonna get sharp and spiky. Uh, so that allows me to add a d6 of piercing damage uh, to it. So that is 30 points to the little one and 15 to the big one. Okay. 30 and 15. All right. Getting off to a big start. Uh, just for everyone at home, so you know this, I also give everybody, uh, not the Eidolon, not Ekalash, but every player got an extra 50 HP so we can have a long battle tonight. But with hits yeah. like that, I don't think it's going to go too long. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, in for my bonus action, uh, that's it. I have not, I have not, well, I guess I, sub I could, in theory, cast Shillelagh just because I want to say I did something with my bonus action. Sure. My, my, my stick is is hard. Um, that's we're getting into some PG thirteen areas. I'm... I have two <laughs> other things going on in the week that are R rated. Does it look like this one's gonna be it too? No, no. Okay, we tried our best. Logan really did not help us in that, but we're trying our best. All right, so let's that's move on to Akashi. Uh, no, uh, yes, Akashi, because no. Ekalesh okay. went before. Okay, um, so. I am going to move, get on top of uh, Ekalesh. Bloop. I and believe it is an action to mount, right, Cody? Yes. Yeah. It is. Yep. And then, uh, so all I have is left is a bonus action, correct? Yes. It, movement okay. too, but if you're mounting him, it's. Right, 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 right. Um, bonus action. I can't. And now, just to confirm, I can't cast any spells as a bonus action, correct? It will specifically say. Okay. Uh, I don't believe I can. Just check one moment. Yeah, bo bonus action spells are pretty rare, but Cleric does have some, I believe. So. Yeah, I don't believe I can. I just want to just triple check because I'm... Uh, yeah. Do it. Nope, I cannot. So, yeah, I'm just going to uh, do that. Okay, and with that, Ornick. All right, I am going to... Uh, let's see. Ornick's taking a look towards the top of the gentle stream. We'll just move on up to right there, Ooh. and then just hit one. All right, so for my next action, I'm going to use Acid Breath. It's only going to hit uh, the one serpenty thing, but go ahead and do that. That's a dex saving throw. And five, um, six. Uh, Christian, Ooh. also, if you go to Ekalesh's character sheet and you mm -hmm. just press the words for under, uh, dexterity under its saving throws, it will roll it all together for you. Ah, uh, okay. I did not know that. Yeah, yeah. All right, so it rolled a nat one, so we know it's going to fail. Mm-hmm. So it would be six. Okay. So, yeah. And I did the whole thing. I think that's the, yeah, that's the damage. All right, so that's nine damage. Okay. Of acid damage as well. All right. So just straight nine. Yep. All right. Anything and else? I once again forgot to rage, so I'm gonna go ahead and rage. All right, <laughs> rage. <laughs> 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 and that'll end my turn. All right. It is Ekalesh's turn. All right. So I'm going to move. Uh... 70 feet up in the air. Okay, Ekalesh is going to fly up in the air. And then I'm going to... Ba -ba -da. Um... Where 
first set up. Um, and before we move on, so just for our audience, um, when these guys are flying and stuff, and they're trying to shoot things at it, they're obviously shooting at an angle, which is the hypotenuse of this triangle. I'm not sitting here trying to do a bunch of math, so I'm just going to say it's five feet more than the distance on the ground. We're just going to be... Usually, guaranteed. like, it's almost guaranteed it's not longer than whatever the furthest distance is. Um, so, so if it's he's... usually just the same? Yeah, it, so whatever the furthest is, that's usually what I do if I'm trying to be quick about it, is whatever the the, the furthest distance he is away, I kind of go with that. Okay, but. that sounds fair. That sounds fair. And then uh, I'm going to... Otherwise, we'll be here all night doing math. Do... Um, I actually think... I've done it with I had like a like a Google formula up and I just put the distances in each each thing. Yeah. I'm going to do nothing. Um, but did we apply my fast healing, by the way? Yes, I did. I did. So I gave him that extra stuff. Thank you. Okay. And uh, that's it for my turn. Cool, cool, cool. All right, care on from in the bush. Uh, so I actually did pop it up just out of curiosity. Uh, so, 70 feet up in the air, 75 feet right there. I was wrong. That's 102 feet away. 102 <laughs> feet away. Are you yeah. going to be our resident math guy tonight? <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it. I've, that's me. Uh, that's 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 the DM in All me. All right. Well, round down at least. Everything rounds That's fine. Down. Okay. Um, well, it actually does not matter for, for distance <laughs> because as long as they are underneath the cloud created by call lightning – the uh, call lightning can strike any point, specifically it does not say on the ground. So I choose the point immediately between uh, Akashi and um, Serpent McWingy face. Ekalesh. <laughs> Ekalesh, I remembered. I remembered. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I like yours. <laughs> Chiron, that's what Chiron calls it. Cody's trying to be respectful, yeah. but, but Chiron's like, oh, Serpent McWingy. Mc Chicken face. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, because uh, he's also within five feet, they both have to roll a deck saving throw. And just so you know, this is a concentration spell that lasts up to ten minutes. So we're looking at a hundred rounds here. What uh, what uh, spell slot are you casting that in? Same. Uh, so it's it's still on third, but it's already been cast. So you cannot counterspell it. Also, I'm not within sixty feet of you. I was just wondering. Um, yeah. So what do I roll? For that again, sorry. Dexterity saving throw. Dexterity saving throw, gosh. For you and Ekalesh. So that would be a seven plus... Oh, you did click it. Okay, so that's a seven because it was a plus three, and now roll for Ekalesh. Uh, you just have your toggle on advantage. I can fix your sheet really fast. Okay. So that... Here, let me go to your sheet... So if I go to Akashi, everybody at home can see this so they can watch us. We can advantage toggle. So now when you roll it, you'll just hold it on normal, unless it's advantage or disadvantage, and you would click that before you roll. So now let's go to Ekalesh. Just go to this little tab, advantage toggle, and there you go. You're all good. You're all set. Thank you. All right. So it looks like they both failed. All right. Uh, 19 total points of damage. Cool. And, uh, ooh, I do have something. And I actually am going to need to defer to the, uh, to the GM for yes. this one. Uh, with my fancy arcanist circlet and my little pingy light bips about my face. <laughs> I'd like to to flick one of them. As a bonus action, I can fire uh, an arcane moat at a creature I can see within 120 feet. I would like to target uh, the Akashi Chicken mm -hmm. McSerpent Wingy face. Okay. Uh, is that an attack? It doesn't specify if it's an attack roll or if it's like magic missile. It just auto hits. What is it called? The Arcanist Circlet. Let's do some research. Mm hmm. I will happily read the content I have. Yeah, go ahead and read it for okay. around here. So, uh, 
Uh, uncommon requires attunement whilst wearing the circlet. You are considered always to have the spell magic missile on your list, known slash prepared spells. Moat magic, uh, this circlet has three small glowing arcane moat circles uh, that circling the wearer's head. As a bonus action, you can fire one of the arcane moats at a creature you can see within 120 feet. Each arcane moat deals force damage equal to one half your character level rounded down. Once all the moats are used up, they replenish after one minute. Oh, yeah, so that's that's like magic missiles, automatic hit. Okay, so that is an additional six points of damage. To uh, Ek- uh, Akashi? Uh, Ekalesh. Ekalesh, okay, an extra six. The, well, the, the, the serpent. Yep. Or, yep, okay. And, and... Yep, sorry, go ahead. I'm just going to... Hey, uh, just gonna take a little shoot, little little shift right there. There we go. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> um, and just a reminder, Akashi, you know what I'm talking about. If you're gonna use a certain ability, just let me know so that my HP calculations are correct. Mm-hmm. Okay. By the way, it is your turn. Okay. So, um, let me see what I want to use here. So how far away am I from uh Caron? No, uh him. Ornick? Uh, Alright. Yeah. <laughs> Resident hypotenuse man, what is it? Seventy okay. up and five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five, thirty over. Thirty over it gives us seventy five feet. Seventy five feet. Okay, thank you very much. And I am going to Actually, I'm going to move. Uh, no, I'm not going to move. Sorry. Cancel. Cancel that. Cancel. Uh, there it is. Uh, I am going to use one of my magic arrows and do Conjure Volley. Very nice. On. Um, Click, sorry. Uh, and just to remind everyone, the Thunderdome, I had to look it up in my own rules. The Thunderdome is 200 feet upwards, and below ground is 100 feet downwards. So you can't go 200, 100 further. Right. So, uh, yep, let me just read here. Um, so i basically throwing one of these magic arrows up in the air. Uh, and it breaks apart and creates hundreds of duplicates of ammunition. Uh, each creature in a 40-foot radius, 20-foot high uh, cylinder must make a dexterity saving throw. All right, Ornick, dex saving throw. Six. Uh, six. <laughs> um, what? How do I tell which one if it's successful or not? Uh, go to your spell sh- part of your sheet and mm-hmm. look at your spell save DC. I believe it's a 17. 17. Yep. Yep, it is. All right, so I need to... Uh... So he failed, so you got to roll yep. full damage. Yep. So uh, barbarians have advantage on dexterity saving throws? In rage? No, it's it uh, just uh, and... Dan- Danger sense. Okay, so uh, roll it again. Yeah. 14, still a fail. Nice. So I need to roll that. And what spell slot is this? Uh, in its uh, original spell slot, which is fifth. Okay. Plus three more. So uh, 17 plus eight, which would be 25, if I'm not mistaken. That would be correct. And what type of damage is that? Um, it's the same type of uh, that the magical arrow was. So it'd be piercing, the... and aren't you raged? Does that half it? So that we're gonna round. It, we always round down, so it's twenty-four basically. So it's twelve. <laughs> All right, twelve points to Ornick. And then uh, I am going to conjure volley's really cool. I like it. I yeah. want to use it at least once. <laughs> Such a cool spell. Uh, 
That's it. Yep. Okay. Agreed. That was really cool. <laughs> I haven't seen Fandravali in the longest time. <laughs> Alright, for his retaliation, Ornick. And she's just gonna growl. <laughs> Alright, so both of them are up in the air, right? Yes, he is on top of Ekalish. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and drink my bottle with wings. See what that does. All right. So bonus action uh, for people at home. Let's see if I can click on it and show everybody at home. You are drinking the pixie potion. After drinking this potion, you immediately manifest a pair of iridescent dragonfly wings. The following effects last for five minutes, which would be fifty rounds. So just know I got to keep track of these rounds. You gain a flying speed of forty feet. Uh, while flying, you may spend a bonus action to shower a 10-foot curtain of fairy dust along your path. All creatures caught in this fairy dust must roll a dexterity saving throw, DC of 11. On a failure, they are under the effects of the spell Fairy Fire, which means they're going to light up and you have advantage against them for three rounds. On a success, they are immune to further attempts. A strong breeze may end this effect. As an action, you can turn invisible. This effect ends if you use fairy dust, attack, or cast spells. All right, so on how many how many feet were they away from me? He is 75 like I, feet at a diagonal. 75 feet, so I can get at least 40 of those. Si, senor. All right, which would probably put me... 25 feet away? I mean, or roughly, 35 like feet away. there. Sure. <laughs> Somewhere in the sure. middle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm up in the air. That will be the next level of Thunderdome is 3D maps. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, although that is just outside of my acid breath and also my fairy, whatever that thing was. Uh, so <laughs> I will go ahead and throw a javelin. The barbarian with them. fairy wings throwing a javelin. My dreams have come true. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, so that, that is, is a 21. On who? Which one? Uh, I'll do it on Ekalesh. Okay. Serpent Queen. 21 is a hit, if I'm correct, Kashi? Yes. yes. All right, roll your damage. All right, so that is 12 damage. 12 points of damage on Ekalesh. And I might as well do it again. For his multi-attack, 18 is 18. a miss. Nope. Okay. Nope, it's fine. Very good. On Ekalesh? No. I have an armor class of 20. Yeah, I said it was a miss. Oh, I thought you said it was a hit. My apologies. Nope. <laughs> so I don't know why it's a hard hit. Anyways, I'm just gonna sit up in the air like this. <laughs> it's just one of my fairy wings. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Echolesh. Like, uh, dragon creature fly. <laughs> Get your revenge. <laughs> okay, so uh, I am going to. Uh, move diagonally. You as an Echolish, right? Yeah, because I'm on the top of them, so we both move. Okay. Right there. I don't know how to do the, the uh, thing where you mark it out um and then i am going to do uh are you still playing on the still on that 70 foot layer yes okay um and then i'm going to uh Nothing. That's it. Okay. Um, Charon. Right. Uh, ooh, there. You guys are all flying. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, uh, third verse, same as the, the first. Let's lightning. Let's call lightning. All right. Let's call lightning on uh, uh, Ekalesh and catch Akashi in the all right. In the splash. Both roll uh, dexterity saving throws. 
So we'll go with the first one that you rolled, which uh, is a 12, and now roll for Ekalesh. A 9. I believe both those are fails. I believe yes, so. Sir. A huge lightning bolt comes down from the stormy clouds. Kaboom. You spiky. Uh, so 14 to each. All right, 14 to each. Um, it ain't, uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna go, right, uh, oh, let me grab my grabber tool. Here I am. Come here. I'm gonna come stand in the tree, in the bush. This is lush verdant land down here. <laughs> come on, come on down. Um, that's it. All right. Um, Akashi. Um, okay. So, I am going to cast, uh, wait, hold on, uh, Cure Wounds at third level. All right. Higher level casting plus, so 13 plus 8, all right. Maybe 21. And I'm going to put that on uh, me. Okay. So, gotcha. That'll be that. And then I'm going to. Uh, is it an action to also dismount, by the way? Yes. It is? Okay. That's what I thought. Uh. But you also have wings. You don't really have to dismount. You can just use your movement to fly off. Oh, I can? Okay. So, and I'm going to fly. Uh, Twenty-five feet that way. Okay. Twenty-five feet across. And forty-five. Space. Yep. And then forty-five feet further in there. So seventy plus forty uh, is a. Wait, my brain is going crazy. That seems like it'd be easy math. That's 110, 115, would you say? So I'm going 25 you were... feet to the right. Okay, 25 up or down or side. Uh, and side. Then how much up? And then 45 feet up. 45 feet up. Okay, so that would be, yeah, 115 up. So you're five feet below the clouds. Because it was 120 foot, right, Cody? Uh, yes. Okay. The bottom of the cloud is at 120 feet. That is the maximum range of that spell. So you are five feet. You can feel uh, the heat from the static in the clouds. And now, how does dashing work with flight? Or does it? Like Basically just get to do your movement again. Okay. Um, and so I'm going to... How far am I away from the ceiling? Uh, the it's ceiling 20. is 200 feet, so it would be 80 feet above the clouds. So I'm going to go five feet from the ceiling. It, the So it's an action to dash, but the... Oh, um, it is? Yeah. yeah. Okay, the I still, and, and No, no, no. And just so you guys know, the cylinder of the cloud extends 10 feet up. Okay, so... Got you. Yeah. How, I mean, you can still get above it. How much are you going up? Uh, I, it's an action to dash, and I already took my action to do cure wounds. Oh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I'm, I'm staying. All right. Uh, bonus action? Um, I'm going to, uh, make sure of something. I don't think I have any bonus actions I can do at the moment. Nope, no bonus actions. Okay. Um, Ornick. Okay, so Serpent Person is still 70 feet in the air? No, he is now 150. Oh, yes. Serp Akashi, or uh, uh, Ekalesh is 70 Ekelesh. feet up in the air. Akashi is up uh, 115 up in the air. Okay. Then. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. On the parabola, it's about 53 feet away from me. Akashi is. Okay. Ekelesh. 
Uh, so I'm going to go like as much of that as I can, which is basically like here ish. Sure, sure. And so sure. I'm about 13 feet away. Uh, I'm going to acid breath. What's the distance on acid breath? Acid breath is 30. 30 feet in a line. Well, okay, so he's still 70 feet up in the air, though. Correct, but, like, I'm going diagonally. Oh, you're flying. Oh, my feet, gosh, I need a so three. Diagonally. <laughs> you're right, you're right. I forget you're 40 up in the air. Yes. So I need a 3D I have model. 40 feet. So now, diagonally, he is 13 feet away from me. <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah. Forget you're flying. The, bar the flying barbarian dragonborn. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, you know. I love it. Yeah. Uh, so, yes, that is a deck saving throw. A 13. And that uh, does not save it. It's a 15 seven. save. So, uh, that's seven points of damage. And uh, is I think it, I can just... Do you add stuff because you're raging? Oh, yes. Is it that Should three be. that's on there? Uh, yeah, so ten points of damage. Sorry. Ten points of damage. And then I'll... Yeah, I can do extra attack with that. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and do it again. So another DC. All right. Ah, there we go. 17. Okay. And that does not hit. Very so nice. And uh, yeah, that ends my turn. All right. Now it is Echolesh's turn. Okay. So I am going to... Uh, because I did it wrong the last time, so. I apologize. A lot of stuff. Is in no, the that's book. cool. Caron's just lot. No, in a bush chilling. <laughs> I mean, at level 12 and higher, we're, we're watching gods fight. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I'm going to cast. Uh, I believe I can. Echolesh? Yeah, Echolesh. Okay. I uh, believe I can cast Breath Weapon. Damn, I wonder if it will reach it, though. Let me read. Is it 15 foot? Uh, can be breathing a 30 foot cone or 60 foot line. Oh, then yeah, you can definitely get, get him. Okay. Um, so these caught in the breath weapon. It's a deck saving throw. Uh, for Ornan. And, cool. Yep. And, uh, I would cast, I gotta do the calculations on that for what I would roll for damage. He got an 18. Um, 8 plus the constitution modifier plus uh, proficiency bonus. So constitution. Uh, so it's a, it's a fail. Ooh. Cool. It's a high Plus, DC. Uh, nice. Yep. And then it uh, deals 1d8 points of damage for the sludge type. Uh... Oh, and I'll, I forgot to say it. Sorry, I'm casting this as uh, necrotic. Right. Um, and every two summoner levels, so so sixty-six, I believe that is. Yep. Holy cow! One more. That's eighteen points of necrotic damage. To Ornick. All right. Whew. Necrotic damage. All right. And is that all for Echolesh? Uh. And then I'll move. Mm hmm. He'll move. Gotcha. Keeps yeah, confusing me. You say me. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Uh, so I can do 40 feet. So... They're huge and danced as one spirit. True, true, true. 
<laughs> just like the image of Charon sitting in a bush watching these guys fly around up to hunt. <laughs> we should get give you new popcorn. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, that's what I, I was. Ooh, the berries down so here are amazing. <laughs> All right, so he's just flying over. Yep. All right, so he's still seventy feet up in the air, and he's moving over. He now he's un he's not underneath the cloud anymore. Yep. Cool. And just so you know, Akashi, even though you're going higher up, you're you're like five to ten feet away from the cloud. So up or down, it doesn't matter. You're out of range. Right. Yep. All right, Charon. Ray, I'm Charon. Oh, so you. sorry. That's me. All right. Uh, ooh, look at you all being so tricksy. Uh, I'm going to move 5, 10, 15. Uh, uh, no, stop that. All right. Uh, I'm going to, yeah, I think that's, uh, no, right there, 20. I'd like to use my action to summon my, uh, my wildfire spirit, please. Very right nice. Here with me. Yes. Oh, Come on, little Sparky. Oh boy, I think you gave me that at one point. <laughs> I don't remember. I did. I, I, I can dig it back up if you would like me to. Yeah, That's dig it back fault. up and. Uh... Okay. Uh, I'll I'll get that to you in just a second. Um, but real quick. For now, I'll so just know... give you a little fire thing. Yeah, that's cool. Give me, give me the fire thing. Uh, and he's up in the air. 120. That's that's too far. I'm pretty sure I'm out of range on everything for right now, so I'm going to take the dodge action. I'm going to be dodgy. All right. And that gives them disadvantage on attack against you? Yes, disadvantage, and I have advantage on dexterity saving throws with it. Um, I'm going to tell the fire spirit to uh, prepare to spit a fire seed at something that comes within range. And what's the range? I'm double check. I'm with. I knew you were gonna ask that. Oh man. Oh, very. Hold on. Let me. It's a whole different page. Uh, flame seed, sixty feet. Sixty, 60 feet, feet from from the flame speed. Yeah, doesn't seem likely, but we're, we're just we're ready. We're and ready. he goes right after you. Yes, he goes immediately after me. I have to use at least a bonus action to uh, command him. Otherwise, he just dodges. So. All right, Akashi. Okay, so I am going to move. Um, Still five feet below the cloud. If you were, but you're beside the cloud, so it's irrelevant. You're 115 up. Three feet diagonally, and then. 30 feet upwards. Okay, so another 30 feet up would be 145 feet up? Yes. All right, cool, cool, cool. And then I am going to... Uh, cast... Spirit Guardians. Okay. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to do call Eidolon. All right, cool. Um, he's uh, Your Echolesh is going to use, it's essentially the dimension door effect, and it's going to go right beside you, so now you are both 145 feet up in the air. Yep. All right. Is that all? Um... Let me, make, let me do something really quick, see if I can, uh, if I'm still able to do this. Damn, if I wanted to. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm done. All right. Ornick, you watched it poof, disappear. All you can see above you are the clouds. The storm clouds. Okay, so I'm still confused about how high up they are now. They are both 145 feet up in the air. You are okay. 40 feet up in the air. I am 68 feet up in the oh, air. Oh, excuse me. So well, we, 65. 65. It's, okay. it's got to be in increments of five. Okay. So then I'm 70 feet up in the air? 
Sure. On the diagonal, me going up there is... Sure. Yes. Okay. Sure. Usually we'll round down, but I wasn't paying attention. So from now on, okay. we'll just round down. So. And I can't see them. Oh. Um... Now, does the thundercloud only affect people that it's been targeted towards? Anybody who's mm -hmm. under it. Yeah. Anybody yeah. who's under it? I, I, I have to take an action to call it. Oh, okay, gotcha. I thought it was just like a, a passive thing that was just occurring. No, no it's my it's my action every time. So gotcha. that's why no lightning last time because I because I popped out my my fire. Oh, you're good. Right. Could I see Eklish before? Like when Eklish moved there. You you could have seen him before, yeah, but now you can't. Okay. Well, I am still going to go in that direction. So. Oh, I see what you're uh, saying. Also, you're trying to get I motivation dash? to go. Can I dash with uh, with my wings? Yep, you can take your movement speed, and then it's an action to use it again. Okay. So you can essentially move 80, right? Because it's a movement speed of 40. Right, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Um... Calculating. Yeah, I'm basically just <laughs> going to go just diagonally as much as I can go in the direction that I saw. 80, uh, and 70, Which... so now you are 150 up in the air at a diagonal, so you're kind of like right over there. You are yeah. Yeah. 150. You are basically on the same plane as them because you moved at a diagonal, so you are within okay. 10 feet to their face. All right, can I see them? Yeah. Okay, making sure. Yes. Then uh, I am going to go ahead and... But you used your action to dash. I did. And you can't do the multi-attack unless your first action was an attack. Correct. So I am just going to end it there. <laughs> You're going to fly up and snarl. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Echolesh. Okay. Um... I'm going to um, I'm going to use breath weapon again. Okay. Deck saving throw Ornick. Okay. Seven is a fail. Yep. Fail. So that was, uh, I believe it was D6. Oh, right? Necrotic yes. damage. 66. 16 points of necrotic damage. Plus 4. Plus 4. That's right, because you're doing 6 of them. Alright, so 20 points of necrotic damage. As Ornick gets necrotically toasted. All right. And then I'm going to uh, mm. Yep, I'm done. All right, Karon. Chilling in the bushes. <laughs> Hanging out over here in the bushes. <laughs> oh. Everybody out flew my storm cloud over there. <laughs> oh, that's uh, that is a pretty clever move for them. But to tell you what we're gonna do, we are going to drop concentration. Okay. On so disappears. Uh, yeah, on call lightning, so the clouds disappear, so I can see them. Yes. Mhm. Mm okay. Cool. Just making sure. And I am going to. Ooh, don't do that spell list. I am going to cast Control Winds. There's a range of 300 feet, and it creates a 100-foot cube. And so I am going to, if I'm not mistaken, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 50. So I kind of wanted to be like on the edge there, okay. right? And um, 
I'd like it to cover the go up to the top okay. of the ceiling, All right? right. For the hundred feet beneath it, kind of over here. So, or eh, I, mean, I want I want this to be the edge. There's no point in it being like five I, feet over. Yeah, I got you. you. Know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, so just slide um, the cube over five feet. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, so that'll yeah. So what that means is that um, I'm going to use the downdraft ability. So it's actually 15 feet more to the left. Yeah, I I was I was just about to to. All right, actually to, more than that. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. it's there. Another 20. I I guessed. So, um. And that means everybody that is in the cube, which should be everybody but me. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to use the downdraft ability. Range weapon attacks that pass through the cube are at disadvantage. Uh, creatures must make a strength saving throw. If it flies into the cube for the first time on a turn or starts its turn, they're flying. Gotcha. On a failed save, they are knocked prone. Flying creatures that are knocked prone without a hover speed uh, immediately fall. So Ekalesh does have... Does he have hover? I know Akashi doesn't. He does. But Ekalesh does. Yes. So what would happen and to Ekalesh? He would what, flip upside down? So <laughs> he's got a strength saving throw. If he fails it, he plummets. And according to Xanathar's, you fall up to 230 feet in a round. So he'll hit the ground and take fall damage. Even with hover? If, so it, hover, he, yeah, I guess he just, like, goes a little flatter. Yeah, I yeah. I guess with, with hover, he doesn't fall. If right. he has hover, he, he stays where he's at. It'll be the, uh, he'll just be upside down <laughs> in the yeah. air. Yeah, I I think it would be, because there's a, a like, gust ability, mm -hmm. which means if you're moving against the wind, it's difficult terrain. So it, every foot costs an extra foot. So I guess if he wanted to fly up, it'd be up to you to decide if that applied. Okay, and just to let you guys know, if you fall, I believe it's 1d6 bludgeoning per 10 feet at a max of 20d6 is what I'm reading on D&D &D Beyond. Yes, I believe that is the case. So don't fall. <laughs> All right, so uh, is that the end of your turn? That, um, that is going to end my turn yes all right so akashi roll a strength saving throw because it would be your turn next an 11 so uh 11 is a fail it's a dc of 16 all right so he is going to plummet to the ground i will uh for 10 feet and he is a hundred and 45 feet up so that's 10 that's 14 i'll round down with the five feet so roll 14 d6 i'll let you, you got do it. that cody Sixty-three points of damage. Holy crap! Oof. And and you got to roll. Uh, well, you don't have to roll it for Ekalesh. It's not his turn yet. Right. So. And you are not prone, so you're on your back. So you, if you want to stand up, it takes half your movement speed just to stand up. Right. So, one sec. I want to see. Yeah, you do. You boo. Um. Oof! I have never seen that spell used that well before. <laughs> I, neither have I. Would that be considered <laughs> me being hit by an attack? Uh. It didn't make an attack roll. Yeah, it's it's or a saving. Or targeted by uh, so. Uh, I'll I'll just put this here. Sure. Shield reaction. You can take it when you're hit by an attack or targeted by the missile. Visible barrier. No. I didn't think so. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. Um, also, for the future, when things like that happen, you have to call it before the damage die. Oh, okay. You do? Okay. Yeah. Because it when said when you were hit by an attack. So I didn't know if it, like, if it would hit or not. I, I guess I misread that. Cool. Uh, yeah. No, hit usually means like if you if somebody's made an attack roll against you, 
And it's like, does that beat your armor class? Yes, it hits, yeah. but I'm going to right. cast shield. Right. Okay. Um, so I currently uh, have uh, 63 points of damage, you said? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All righty. All right. And now it's my turn, I take it? Yep. Yep. Okay. So, that hurt. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me see here. I'm going to use Dimension Door. You will have to stand up first, because Dimension Door, you have to walk through it. Yes, so I'll, I'll stand up. All right, so your movement speed is halved. Um, I'll cast Dimension Door. Cool. Uh, and it's... Let me see this, if, if it says this. You can do it. If you're going back to Echolash, you can see him. And Dimension Door, I believe, is 500 feet, so you can... You can go right back, but uh, the only question I have first time on a turn or start its turn. Yes, you can, but on your next turn, if you're still there, you'll have to roll a strength saving throw again. Right. What I'm saying is, is, could I do it in the air? Yeah. Like Dimension Door up into the air? Yes. Yeah. Um. So, and correct me if I'm wrong, but could I theoretically. Dimension door. Uh, how do I ping? Arrow and hold. Arrow and hold. Gotcha. Yeah. There? Yes. Okay. Just to let you know, you're still not within the wind. The wind is 100 feet above you. Um. Oh. But yeah. you can move the wind, too, right? Uh, well, once he's chosen... The effect lasts for spell duration unless your action or later turn to switch to a different effect. Yeah, so yeah. he can switch between three effects, but I don't think he can move the wind in terms of that cube. Doesn't seem to. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, never mind. I'm just going to use uh, Cure Wounds, because, ow. <laughs> um, and I'm going to use it in... A uh, fifth uh, spell slot. Ooh, all right. Big heels. Thirteen plus twelve. That is twenty-five. And then, uh. I want to ready. Um, I don't think no, you can ready. You no, I don't think I can. I was I, I was looking at a spell that physically, but I don't think I can. You're right. I cannot. Okay, I am done then. All right, Ornick. You have uh, 48 more rounds on your flying. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't he take the effect? Oh yeah, you're right. And you also have to roll a strength saving throw. Good okay. call. Uh, and I'm going to roll it on advantage. All right. Yes. Yep. A 12 Rage. is still believe a fail. Yep. So, now what happens? All right, Cody, roll the same amount of dice for him as he plummets to the earth. 55 points of bludgeoning damage. Good And with gosh. your rage, that'll take you down to 28, I believe. 28 because it is bludgeoning. Okay, yep. All right, cool. Very good. So I am now here. All right, and then they are just right over there. So you can see Akashi standing right there, but you cannot mm -hmm. see Ekelesh. Well, you can if you look straight up. He's up way up in the air. Right, but Ekelesh is all still up there. Right. All right. Um... You are also prone, so you would need to use half movement speed to stand up. Right. 
then I'll go ahead and stand up. And I mean, they're right there. So like it's, yeah, it's just like that. Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and go over to Akashi and attack him with my great axe. Since he moved near me, do I get a uh, attack? It's only if he in, if he's in your melee attack range and then leaves it. Leaves it? Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Good Which gosh, a 29 is definitely a hit. Holy cow. Oh, well, I was going to use shield. All right, so you shield, so... Yep. Plus five to your armor class would put you. It's still still could be a hit. Yeah, yeah. So, so you don't have to cast the spell. That that's the nice thing about shield, is that um, it's after you see the attack roll, but before the damage is rolled. So okay. if you if you know there's no way, like casting shield's not going to help you. Mm -hmm. You can save your reaction. Oh, I can. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. All right, so eight points. Mm-hmm. And I'll just go ahead and do it again. Do it again. Okay. Yep, that still that still hits. Oh uh, wait, it, 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 what if it's exactly what it is? It's still so now. So now would be the time to cast shield if it was exactly and you didn't want to, because meets it beats it. So oh, I, that's what I was wondering. I didn't know if meets it beats it or if it had to be high. Yeah, it would end up being a nineteen, and he would still it nineteen still hits. He's got to get uh, your armor class or above. Right, but with oh five, I was doing wait, yeah, five. Hold on. What's your armor class? If you, I mean, fourteen. Sorry. Yeah, I'll tell you. Oh, it's fourteen. So casting shield won't help because you'll you'll only be able to raise it to a nineteen. And then he has a 19, so he still hits. Oh, I thought you just said meets it, beats it, though. Uh, on the attacker. Oh, the attacker. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. All right, there so roll the confusion. second damage, Ornick. So confusing. Okay. Apologies. 13. 13. All right, what? and any bonus actions? Uh, nope, that'll be it. All right, we're going to give Echolesh a strength saving throw and his turn, and then we're going to take a bathroom break. So first, a strength saving throw, Echolesh. I got her to damage uh, from Akashi, so total damage was 18. Uh, 13 plus 8 would be 21 damage. 21? Okay. Yeah. And on bathroom break, I'll get with... Um, I don't have to get Kara on because he hasn't been hit, but I'll get with Ornick and Akashi and just make sure we're all lined up on HP. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure I've been doing this right. Um, all right, so strength saving throw, you said? Yes, sir, for Ek uh, Ekalesh. 25. Cool. Good That's gosh. That's Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's good. He's, he's standing he's like there as the fight. wind's blowing him back, but he's fine. He's vibing. <laughs> he's dancing. <laughs> all right, take his um, turn. I am going to. Uh, I gotta do something. <laughs> um, he is forty-five feet within the wind. Right. Um. Sorry, I'm just trying to see. So, how far away is? Um, uh. Akashi, like below me. You are on the ground, and he is 145 feet up in the air. Oh, got it. Um, yep. So I'm going to go 145. Okay, I'm going to go down 30 feet. Okay. And then I am, uh... actually, you know what? No, I'm just going to dash. I want to dash straight to the ground and to get right beside. Uh... What's his movement speed? Uh, 40. So he can go 80 feet. 80. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to go down as far as I can go to get beside of him. Okay, cool. So he is 65 feet up in the air, but he is below the wind. Yes. All right. And is that it? Uh, Yes. 
Okay, when we come right back, it is going to be Charon's turn. Uh, if you're watching us on Facebook or Twitch, don't go away. We'll be right back. Thanks, guys. All right, welcome back, everybody. We are halfway through the uh, semifinals to the Thunderdome. Lots have happened. Wind up in the air. People flying down, hitting, doing some bludgeoning damage. We're having a great time. We just ended on Echolish's turn. But before we continue... Your favorite people are back, the Thunderdome Wizards. They're going to start to swirl together in this big circle with their hands down towards the ground. The uh, ground below you is going to start to rumble. Ooh. And before you know it, uh, the, the ground falls down into space above and below you. And in the middle of this huge space... A monster appears in the middle. A huge space kadashi is what I'm calling it. The rules are he protects these these ruins in the middle of this uh, thing in space. And if you get near, he will attack as he roams around in circles. So with that, it's Charon's turn. Oh, right. Okay. I miss the trees. <laughs> this is too much. Uh just a humble druid. All right, uh, before I cast Lightning Bolt on him, let's see how far. So these ruins here, do they look like there's something fun in them? Because my adventurer spirit is telling me I should give it a try. I don't know. You can't see in them. I can't see in them. Damned. Damned sight lines and physical spaces of <laughs> opaqueness. <laughs> and they're each 20 feet tall, by the way. They're each 20 feet tall. All right. Uh, let me get my grabbing hand on. <laughs> so we're going to go five. Wait, hold on. Let me double check something real quick. I'm so sorry. I had a plan and then you dropped the thing on me. And then I was like, <laughs> oh, that's that's a bad plan. It's a terrible plan. Okay. Uh, so here's what I'm going to do. First and foremost, I'm going to cast uh, Scorching Ray. Okay. And I'm going to make... Uh, I'm going to make one attack against all of my foes down here in the corner because they are all within 120 feet. Okay. Um, passing it at second level, and I get to add 1d8 of fire damage because of my fire spirit. So, um, On each one? Uh, it's one, so I'm going to say the first one that hits. Okay, we'll get sure. the extra d8. How, how's that? And it's three rays, so one on each yeah. foe. Yeah, so three attacks. So in order, because I'm going to roll 3D, uh, I'll just I'll roll them separately. Uh, 1D, 20, plus 8. Uh, so reading order here. So Ornick is a uh, 13. That's a hit. Um, oh, okay. Uh, Akashi, right? That's the person. Uh, yep. 21. That's a hit. And... Echolesh, uh, 25. <laughs> he caught all three. Okay. Um, so, the so first you, one Did is... you say 13 for me? He yes. did. Yes, my armor class is 14. Oh. I never did change that, but yes. Okay, we had sorry, about it was... God. Yeah, my bad. It was 11 in the page. I forgot. All right, never mind. That does not hit. Okay, no, no hit there. So, then it goes to Akashi is the, um, it's the one with the bonus fire. Uh, so that is 10 points of fire damage. All right. And then Echolesh, or a serpent chicken McFeather person, <laughs> um, is nine points of fire damage. All right, on Echolesh. Damage done to me. I'm sorry, say that again. Um, it's just whenever I take damage. Um, as my summoner, I can choose to oh. uh, pass it over to my Eidolon. Mm -hmm. So I was just going to do that. You team. cannot do it because you're below half. Oh, you're right. Okay. So never mind then. Excuse me. Okay. So that is um, that is my action. My movement is going to be 5, 10, 15, 20... Can I can I go up there on twenty five or is that like a, yeah. a height thing? Okay, cool. Twenty five, and um, I'm gonna say I'm gonna command my fire spirit to 
Just say, come here, boy, and then teleport me closer to uh, to that that middle thingy up there. I want to see if there's something cool in it. All right, so it so. flies over to you. And yep. Bloop takes you to. And it. then yeah, we teleport 15 feet. And I'm with him. So, do I see something cool? Uh, roll a perception check. All right, perception check. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, oh, right. Because <laughs> I haven't, I haven't looked at my skills list since, since I made the character. Did I take perception? I did. I'm a smart player. <laughs> uh, so that is one d twenty plus eight. I am wisdom is natural oh, 20 for 28. 20. Uh, the, you see a bunch of fallen soldiers, which you from the tales have heard of Thunderdome, realize that these are the fallen soldiers in the very first Thunderdome event ever. Um, there's I, not much left I, for you to take except for chain mail that's on one of them. Ooh, I'm a druid. I don't wear metal anyway, but I'm super fan of you guys. You guys are like really <laughs> awesome. So. All right, my cool. Turn. Akashi. Um, I'm going to cast Harm on uh, uh, not Karan, but um, Hornick. Hornick, yep. Gotcha. Great spell. Great spell. So he's going to make a Constitution saving throw, Hornick. On advantage. No. And let us know what you get. 20. All right, 20. So, um. Trying to figure out what. You'll take to do. half as much damage on a success. Yeah. So, so roll so 14 d6, and he'll take half the necrotic damage. So, a slash R space 14. The letter D and six. That'll just type that. Say, yeah, just type that. Yeah, that'll that's that's easier. Slash R. Say that again one more time. I'm sorry. Slash R space one four D and six. There you go. Oof, fifty two. So he will take half of that, which will be twenty six points of necrotic. Now. Do you have any uh, resistances or anything to, to necrotic? Necrotic? Yeah. yeah. All right, so it'll take 26 necrotic damage. And then the rest of the spell. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so... it He succeeded. Um, if the target fails the saving throw... Yeah, I mean... It's oh, no, you succeeded. Sir, never mind. I'm sorry. I... I yeah, on harm, if you fail, the damage you take uh, for an hour, it reduces your max. Yeah, harm is harmful, to say the least. Okay, yeah. and then I am going to... Uh, uh, I can still move, right? Mm -hmm. Am I still prone? No, you got up with half your movement speed last time. That's time. right, that's right. You both did. All right, so... Echolish is 65 feet up in the air. I'm going to uh, fly up 70 feet. All right, so you're right beside him. That does give Ornick attack of opportunity. Yep. Great axe. That is a hit. That's a hit. 17. Two. All right. All right. You are up in the air. Yarp. All right. Uh, Ornick's turn. And how far up in the air? He is 70 feet up in the air. So I'm going to go ahead and fly 40 feet up in the air. Okay. And then Acid Breath. All right, is that a deck save? 40. How far, how high up is, um... Echolish? 
Ekalesh. Ekalesh is 65, he is 70. Okay, so... Um... So twenty five feet. I don't know and... exactly from where I am. Like I can, I can do it on a line, but it doesn't look like I can get both. You won't be, get both, time. no. Yeah. So I'll just do it on a line to get Akashi. So that's a deck saving throw. Saving throw. Got it. Ooh, a nat one. That is definitely a hit. Ooh. Ooh that's... 14 points of damage. 14 points of damage. And I am um, uh, down. Oh, he is in the negative, so he is rolling saves and fails. You are going to plummet towards the ground. And because you do take bludgeoning damage, that's going to give you an automatic fail. All right. Oof. All right. Okay, so I guess I'll direct my next thing at Ekalesh, because why not? Generous. All right. Well, I, I can't. It's it's not. It's too far. I'm 40 feet. It's only 30 feet, so. Nice. All right. Uh, so, yeah, that's uh, Dex save for... The flying Dragonborn. Who would have thought? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> so I, ro- I roll a Dex save and throw on who? Ekalesh. Ekalesh. Okay. 15. Okay. And it is a 15, so that saves or not? What is your Mine spell is safety? Save. Mine is a 15. So 15 uh, saves. Saves, yeah. Okay. Very good. So then, nothing? Uh, that'll end my turn. Yeah, nothing. All right. Echolish. Um, let me read. This is a very strange situation because you are telepathically linked, but you are unconscious. So, right. let me look at the summoner page. Really. I was going to say that. I was going to ask, like, how does that work? Hmm. Can he still use his own original abilities, but nothing? I'm not really sure. Just do some. Somebody tell a story while I just read a little bit. Right. So there was this time that I was uh, wandering around the woods, and I was a wee dwarf. And it wasn't like I was a wee dwarf, because look at me. I haven't <laughs> been wee in oh quite some time. Then were the days. So here was the thing. When uh, y- have you ever been a dwarf? Nah, you haven't. But if you lived underground, you would believe that the trees were attacking from the ceiling because they would undermine the foundation of your dwarven homes and that is why we used to burn them out with the wildfire and then i got up top on the surface side and they were like yeah wildfire is actually sort of a cool thing because you know it, you got to burn away the dead stuff so that new things can grow and i was like ah been helping the trees the whole time All if right. you don't know what that's from it's from order of the stick <laughs> Thank you so much, Charon. All right, so it says in the Summoner Eidolon, an Eidolon acts on its own initiative and it obeys any verbal or telepathic commands that you issue to it, no action required by you. Your Eidolon can communicate with you telepathically as long as you are on the same plane. Which makes me believe if you're not giving it any sort of telepathic or verbal command, which you usually do, you haven't been doing out loud because it didn't require an action, so it's pointless, it's going to do what you want it to do. Makes me think it doesn't do anything. It's just going to try to protect itself. Unless... But we can start a conversation about this. What do you guys think? This is kind of gray water here. So the only... So some summoning spells have, like, specific examples mm-hmm. um, because of, like, what it'll do. Like, if you conjure elementals, it goes crazy and attacks everybody or you. But um, specifically my wildfire spirit, and I'm trying to pull it up so that I can read you the wording... Um, if I don't command it, it'll just dodge. However, it does say what it does if I go unconscious. Um, so hold on one second. Um, and that kind of works the same because you're summoning it from another plane, right? Right. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah, it, it, I don't know if it's necessarily from another plane. 
It doesn't talk about it being banished, but that neither here nor there. In combat, the spirit shares your initiative count, takes a turn immediately after yours. Uh, it, the only action it takes is the dodge action, unless you take a bonus action to command it to take another action. Uh, that action can be on the stat block or some other action. If you are incapacitated, the spirit can take any action of its choice, not just dodge. Um, so at that point, I would say it's it's up to the DM what it does. Mm, okay. Uh, yeah. All right. It can attack. It, I'm just going to say for the for the most part, it's just going to try to protect you at this point. So anybody who's close to you, it's going to try to attack. So yeah, right. it can still attack. Okay. Um. Let me read something real quick. So there was the other time in which I set the, uh, the, the, the fields of corn afire, and then the popping happened, and we were like, what is that? That's a crazy thing. The trees, they'd be exploding. And, uh, and I took my popped corn down into the mountain, and, uh, <clears throat> and we feasted on the, on, on the, the popped younglings of the corn, of the, of the evil corn stalks. And it was delicious. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use my last <laughs> breath weapon. All right, last breath weapon on Ornick. Ornick, roll a dex saving throw. There's a five. Ooh, that's a fail. Okay, so... So was it 66? Yep. Oh, so, so I need five, to roll one more. One more. Of necrotic damage. So uh, 20 points of necrotic damage to Ornick. And is it going to use any movement? It is within five feet of him, just to let you know. Five feet. For, are you asking me? Yep. Oh, what do you mean within five feet? I'm just saying if it's going to use its movement, just beware that it is within five feet in the air of him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, 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 no. Um, oh, no, it's not. I take it back. It's 25 feet. I yeah, lied. Um, I'm sorry. You're good. Uh, and then I'm just going to... Uh, Go up 20. Okay, it's going to continue to go up 20. Put it and then, in five feet. Uh, to the left, 10. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Charon. All right. Uh, I'm going to look in the other one. Let's see what's happening over there. Uh, but I got to go around you. This thing's got reach, I'm sure. So, oh, yep, yeah, there we go. Five. Oh, no, sorry. I did that wrong. There we go. Ten, fifteen, and I jump in there. Is Can I look around and see what I see? Sure. Roll a perception check. Great. Perception check. Seventeen. Again, you just see uh, some dead bodies of, of uh, that are fallen, except there's a skull on one side, and the eyes start to light up. And uh, they light up with this black mist that comes out of the eyes. And you just hear a voice into your head, this female, like, little girl voice. And she says, I will destroy all of Silvernell. <laughs> nope, don't deal with talking kids. So sorry. All right, so I'm going to fuck off from there. <gasps> Five, ten, fifteen. 20, 25, all the way over here. <laughs> Chiron doesn't deal with children of the corn. That's a whole other problem. Nope. All right. Is that and, it? Uh, go ahead. Okay, Akashi. <laughs> oh, so that that's just, uh, oh, is it my uh, action to look around? No, 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 no. Okay. I will take the, um, I will cast um, Scorching Ray. And right. I am, it's at disadvantage on uh, Akashi 
but I will. Everybody gets a scorching ray. You get a scorching ray. You get a scorching ray. Everybody gets a scorching. So ray. we'll say the first one on Ornick, first one on Akashi, third one on Ekalesh. Got it. So Ornick is a thirteen. So miss. And next one is a fourteen. On Akashi is a oh it's well it's at disadvantage. Oh, it's, so you do it again. Okay, so disadvantage. Fourteen is still the better or 14. the lesser. Yep, still hits. Okay, and last but not least, twenty-three. And that hits Which on Ekalesh as well. Yes. Okay, so um, it's just two d six on Ekalesh. The other one is an a, a failed save. Yeah, automatically a fail. Yeah. Um, so it is four points of fire damage, and I'm gonna say, "Come here, boy. Come here," and motion for my pet to join me. Bloop. And um, that'll be its turn. All right. And prepare to shoot if something attacks us. Fire seed in the face. All right, Akashi, roll a straight D20 and hope it's above a 10. Oh, thank goodness. That is one save. Ooh. And our buttholes are clenched. <laughs> All right, Ornick. All right. I'm just going to... Fly back down to the ground. Ground level right in front of Akashi. And uh, it being like that, he is fails any kind of saving throw. Yeah, he's gonna fail it. So I'll go ahead and just acid breath. Acid breath on him, he fails. Describe how you kill him. Okay. Uh, Acid's just going to burn away all the flesh on him because there's not much of him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> and just like that, in the semifinals, Akashi is severed. Um, Boom. It acids his body. The crowd goes wild. <sighs> and Ornick's going to let out a roar. <laughs> Ornick. Ornick. His, his fairy wings are going to flutter a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> the ground is slowly going to turn back to dirt as the clerics come up and hold Akashi's body up and the crowd is going to cheer and just like that it was the end of the semifinals I want to thank you Christian for playing and getting all the way to the semifinals thank y'all by you. the way ow wind <laughs> hurt yeah ow. probably one of the one things to take out a flying person yeah uh huh that it was, was it was better like earthbind, but I was like, oh, let's let's make them fall. Let's give it a yeah, try. that's pretty dope. Oof, so if you dope. guys are watching us on Twitch or YouTube or Facebook or whatever, thank you so much for making this far. I hope you've been entertained. Uh, again, I want to thank Christian so far for getting this far, and for my two winners. Moving on to the finals, woo -hoo -hoo. Um, they're gonna stay with me after the stream for a little bit. We're gonna come up with something really cool for the finals. But for you viewing at home, thank you so much, and we hope you have a good night. Anybody else want to say anything? Uh, check out Monday nights at yes. random twitch.tv slash random encounter prod for disasters and danger. That's right. That's us. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Everybody, have a good night. We'll see you next weekend.